Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello and welcome to UniLogic training. My name is Ophir Levy. I'm application engineer at Unitronics. The following tutorial shows you how easy is to create and use data sampling. Using the data sampling, we can log PLC tags to a file according to predefined interval and then make use of it as a trend on the HMI, as a CSV file, and more. It is important to know that the data sampling is saved on micro SD card, which needs to be inserted in advance to the Unistream panel in its slot. In the following example, we are going to log three tags which represents a pressure of three pumps. I already created these tags, as you can see in the tags window. We can find the data sampling in the project navigation. Let's click on the data sampling to open the data sampling window. By clicking on Add New Data Sampler, I will add a new data sampler to our project. In the main window, we can see a table which we can add here our feeds for the data sampler. At the right, you can see a properties window where we can determine the properties of the data sampler. In the folder name, we will determine the name of the folder which the file will be saved in our SD card. Let's call it pumplog. We can rename the data sampler. Currently it's by default data sampler 1. I will change it to pressure pump. And in sampling interval, we can determine the interval for taking samples from the tags. In the main window now, we can add our tags. By default, we have one line for one feed. Let's add another two lines for our three tags. I will click on the Add New Feed button and another time. So now we have three feeds. Let's fill them with our tags. First of all, let's select the name for the feed. Let's call it pump pressure one. Pump pressure two and pump pressure three. And now at a feed data source, let's select our tags. As you already know, when selecting on a field tag, automatically we get the list of tags of the project. Let's select pump one pressure for feed number one, pump two pressure for feed number two, and pump three pressure for feed number three. That's it. We finished configuring our data sampling. You notice how easy it is to create a data sampling with UniLogic. Once we added the data sampler, you can see at the tags window a new struct has been added. 
This struct is linked to the data sampler. Let's open this struct to view what it contains. You can see that this struct contains many tags which provides us a lot of functions and flexibility to control the data sampling. The first tag is start and sampling. Using this tag we can stop or start our sampling. The next tag is pause sampling. When the pause sampling tag is on, the sampling is paused. The fourth sample tag allows us to trigger a sample without any relation to the sampling interval. We can also set the sampling interval to zero and then take samples according to the trigger only. The status register indicates the data sampling status. You can find in the help file the list of statuses by value. Later we will review more tags from this struct. Now let's make a use of the data sampling. For example, if we want to see the data sampling as graph on the HMI, we can use the trend variable. I will open the HMI window. And add from the graph and meters I will add the trend variable. Using the cursor, I can drag and draw the trend variable on the screen. In the properties window of the trend, first of all, we need to configure the source of our data sampling. So let's click on the data sampler and select our pressure pumps, which is the data sampling. In the time format, we can select the time format for the trend, whether it will be our minutes, seconds, our minutes, seconds, and hundreds of seconds, and time span. Let's leave it currently as our minutes and seconds. And the next attribute is the trend curve list. Let's click on this browse button and now we will get the curve configuration. In curve configuration we can see all the three feeds of the data sampling. We can determine for each one of these curves its color. You can see the preview of the color Let's leave it as default. We can determine the curve display name, meaning how the name will be represented on the HMI screen. So I will call it with the same name, pump one pressure, pump two pressure, and pump three pressure. We can set the units of the curve. In our case, it will be bar for pressure. And we can also set the min and max values for the y-axis. The min and max values can be either constant or can be also linked to a tag. 
If we will link, of course, the min-max to a tag, we will be able to change the min-max values from the program and then basically we can zoom in and zoom out into the trend. Let's close now the curve configuration and another attribute we can change at the trend properties is the x-axis time frame which by default is 5 seconds and for now we will leave it as default. In order to stop and stop the data sampling we will need of course to set the start end sampling tag. Let's take a button and place it on the HMI. This button basically will toggle the tag of the start end sampling. We'll go to actions of the button. I will add a new action to this button, meaning when button is pressed, I will select action toggle bit and link it to the start end sampling. We'll give it a text label, start, stop, sampling. Of course, I can use to set the optimal width for showing the full text. We finished configuring our trend variable on the HMI. You could see how easy and intuitive is to put it and use it later. Now, let's see how it looks on the Unistream controller. The application was downloaded to the PLC and the micro SD card is inside the controller. We are now connected with the VNC to the PLC and we can see it on our PC. I already started the sampling by pressing on the start stop sampling button and we can see the three curves of the pump pressure. The trend variable has built in buttons and scroll bar. Using the start stop button we can see the graph in real time or pause it. When stopping the graph we can slide our finger on the graph area to view the history of the current graph. We can also use the scroll bar for faster scrolling, jump to the beginning of the graph or to the end of the graph. The next curve button will highlight the selected curve and the y-axis will show the relevant values for the specific curve. Each time we stop the data sampling, the file which contains the sampling will be closed. Starting again, the data sampling will open a new file. Using the History button, we can select from data sampling files of this trend and view them. We can also scroll inside the history to see and analyze the graph. At the top right we have the status led which indicates when the sampling is on or off. Let's start again the sampling and we will see that it will change to green meaning sampling is on. And we have also a status letter which indicates whether we are in history mode, H, run mode for R or S mode for stop. This concludes this tutorial about data sampling. You can find more information and example application in our website. 
Thank you for viewing this tutorial and see you again.